from Adventist World Radio in Pune. A warm welcome to you as you join us. This is our international English service. In our program today, we have music coming to you from Paul Hawking and Benji Koshi. A nature study on stop, look and listen. Followed by a feature entitled You are not alone. Ending our program with a message from God's word on the topic I am with thee. I am Sharad. I'm Gladys and you are listening to Adventist World Radio The Voice of Hope. We begin our program with a song entitled Some Groove.
You heard Paul Hockey with a song on Adventist World Radio and now over to Jennifer for a nature study on stop look and listen Make me to understand the way of thy precepts so shall I talk of thy wondrous works Psalms 119:27 Two men were walking down a busy street in New York City One of the men stopped and said Did you hear that? Hear what? replied his friend. The first man said, "Listen." Again the noise came. He led his friend down a couple of stairs. Over between two bricks was a cricket singing his song. The second man said to the first, "How did you hear that?" "Watch," replied his friend. He went back up onto the sidewalk and dropped a coin. Many people stopped walking to look for the fallen coin. There are people today whose ears are tuned to the sound of money but are not tuned to the sound of a cricket. There are also people whose ears are tuned to the many sounds of nature. I have suggested to boys and girls that they sit down outdoors and cover their eyes with a blindfold. and just listen to the sounds of nature try it yourself sometime god's world has so much going on in it that we sometimes hear or see very little because we are caught up in the busy life we are living there are many sounds that when listened for are very melodious There are many beautiful sights to be seen if we will just take time to do so. We have a porch on the back of our house that faces west. We stop many evenings and watch the beautiful sunset take place. From our bedroom window, we see many beautiful sunrises. So many people miss these beautiful sights because they refuse to take time to look. they are too busy god wants us to take time for both of his books the bible and nature we can learn many lessons from god's word and we can learn many lessons from god's world god can teach us spiritual lessons from his physical world ask god to impress you to take time to stop look and listen to his word and his world thank you jennifer for being on our program you are listening to the voice of hope from pune india it's time to hear a feature presented by pastor frederick paul on you are not alone you are not alone god's strong and loving hand is reaching down right now to grasp your weak and trembling one He knows all about your present circumstances and his voice is whispering do not be worried and upset John chapter 14 and verse 1 He stands ready to comfort and strengthen you no matter what the need one who has suffered greatly is Martha Snell Nicholson Yet in one of her poems she gratefully acknowledges God's promise in Matthew 28 and verse 20 Lo I am with you always Softly the promise steals like sunlight into my shadows and brightens and warms and heals heals my anguish of spirit and horror of loneliness flooding my heart's dark chambers words that comfort and bless strength for every need in addition to god's presence the bible also promises that he giveth power to the faint and to them that have no might he increases strength Isaiah 40:29 This is why he invites us to commit our needs into his hands. Psalm 55 and verse 22 says, "Cast thy burden upon the Lord, and he shall sustain thee." Not just part of your burden or some of your care, but throw all your worries on him, for he cares for you. 1 Peter 5 and verse 7 Light in your darkness to countless individuals. Life is a dark street, a meaningless riddle. But Jesus Christ, the Savior of the world, has declared, "I am the light of the world." John eight and verse twelve says, "Whoever follows me will have the light of life. 
and will never walk in darkness. Happy indeed is the person who with the psalmist can say, The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? When thou saidst, Seek ye my face, my heart said unto thee, Thy face, Lord, will I seek. Psalm 27, verses 1 and 8. If circumstances around you appear dark just now, remember that God is light and there is no darkness at all in Him. First John chapter 1 and verse 5. God's invitation to you. Yes, someone cares for you. And right now is reaching down to grasp your hand. It is God Himself and He that spared not His own Son but delivered him up for us all. How shall he not with him also freely give us all things? Romans chapter 8 and verse 32. If you will open your heart to his voice, which through the centuries has come to suffering humanity, you will hear the Lord calling, Come to me, all of you who are tired from carrying your heavy loads, and I will give you rest. Matthew 11 and 28. Won't you come and find rest in Him? For the eternal God is thy refuge, and underneath all the everlasting arms. Deuteronomy 33 and verse 27. Seeing then that we have a great high priest that is passed into the heavens, Jesus the Son of God, let us hold fast our profession, for we have not an high priest which cannot be touched with the feeling of our infirmities, but was in all points tempted like as we are, yet without sin. Let us therefore come boldly unto the throne of grace, that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in time of need. Hebrews chapter 4, verses 14 to 16. You just heard a feature on You Are Not Alone by Pastor Frederick Paul. The Bible says, Surely the Lord is in this place, and I did not know it. Genesis twenty-eight sixteen. Well, friends, God is always present with us. Though His face we cannot see, He protects and guides and comforts all His children faithfully. God's presence with us is His greatest present to us. To know more about our program, do write to us on Adventist World Radio, Post Box Number 17, Pune, 411-001. Maharashtra, India. Here's a song by Benji Koshi entitled No Goodbye.
For our meditation today, a thought is taken from God's word on the topic I am with thee, presented by Pastor John Prasad Rao. I am reading from Isaiah 41:10. Fear thou not, for I am with thee. Be not dismayed, for I am thy God. I will strengthen thee, yea, I will help thee. Yea, I will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness. Isaiah 41:10. shall we pray loving heavenly father as we meditate upon your word especially on the thought that i am with thee we pray that your holy presence would teach us what it means that you are with us may the holy spirit lead us we pray in jesus name amen as we think about the promise found in isaiah 41:10 this promise contained in Isaiah 41:10 means everything to me and to us the year the years have proved it absolutely true it is god's promise and no power on earth can break his word he made heaven and earth he holds the stars in their places he keeps the sun and moon moving in their appointed orbits He gives life to the grass beneath our feet and to the birds that cleave the air. He keeps your heart and mine beating from day to day. Nothing is too hard for him. No individual is too insignificant to receive his love and care. When Livingstone returned from Africa and visited Scotland, he assured his friends that the thing that sustained him down in the dark continent was the consciousness of the lord's presence with him when this blessed fact of god's loving presence and tender care becomes an ever present reality with us we too shall dwell peaceably and unafraid wherever duty may call us our trustful gaze will be fixed not on the perils around us not on the difficulties before us not on the sorrows and disappointments that may overtake us but on our faithful friend our unfailing protector our sure guide and when we learn to keep step with him we shall be able to meet all with tranquil courage endure all with calm patience and face the future with cheerful triumphant faith for every duty he will be our strength for every disappointment he will be our consolation for all the vicissitudes of life he will be our all and in all god's presence with us does not mean that there will be no trials to endure no difficulties to overcome and no suffering to bear but it does mean that none of these hard experiences need overwhelm us and further it means that when we let god care for us not one thing can overtake us without his permission and without his having planned just how to make that very experience a blessing to us we may be sure that god will never forget us friends may our loved ones may but god never the mountains may depart and the hills be removed but even in such calamities god will not forget us nor withdraw his loving kindness from us he surely will protect us from every fiery trial and guide us safely past the hidden snares of the enemy he sympathizes with us in our sorrows and ever longs to give us that which is best for our present and eternal good and his promise is still ours when we make mistakes his love and care guard every avenue of life and are not meted out to us according to our deserts 
He is the same loving Heavenly Father today and that He was in the long ago. When Jacob, because of his own misdeeds, was forced to leave his father's house, God's loving eye still followed that wanderer and his strong arm protected him. The brave, dauntless and invincible Elijah, in a moment of unusually severe trial, became faint-hearted and fled from Jezebel. But God followed his fleeing servant and ministered to him in the wilderness. So today, our loving Heavenly Father never fails those who will let him guide them through life even though they may make mistakes. Every day, my heart overflows with gratitude to God for Isaiah 41.10. Yes, and for all his precious promises, they are rare jewels that never lose their luster. But as each testing, changing year rolls onward, they shine with added glory. And because God never fails, and His promises are absolutely sure, I know I can trust Him all the way. And I am persuaded that He is able to keep that which I have committed unto Him against that day. May you experience the same assurance. Shall we pray? Loving Heavenly Father, we want to thank you for your presence, for the promises that are found in your word, and especially this promise that we have meditated upon. Continue to be with us. Use us mightily for your ministry. At last, save us into thy home eternal, because we pray it in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Pastor John Prasad Rao, for sharing God's word. We trust you've been blessed with today's program. The Bible states, Lo, I am with you always, even to the end of the age. Matthew 28, 20. Dear listeners, Jesus is present with us today to comfort, to reassure, and strengthen us through all our circumstances. You may wish to know more on God's word. Therefore, we request you to write to us on Adventist World Radio Post Box No. 17 Pune 411001 Maharashtra, India Our address once again is Adventist World Radio Post Box No. 17 Pune 411001 Maharashtra, India you could also email us on amc3 at vsnl.com. That's amc3 at vsnl.com. I'm Sharad. And I'm Gladys, signing out from Adventist World Radio. Remember to join us again. Until then, may you enjoy God's nature and His blessings. Goodbye. Goodbye.